Hello, Assalamu alaikum and very good morning from Lahore. I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Kofi, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we're discussing thanatology, and in thanatology, we're discussing the putrefaction. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the stage two. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that I'll be discussing the stages, so stage two of the putrefaction. And it is basically the production of gases and the pressure effect of those gases. And by the pressure effect of those gases, there will be development of features, shifting of hypostasis, distension of whole body, emission of fluid from the orifices, and pushing out of feces and fetus in the pregnant ladies. So starting with the lecture of, on the stage two, there is production of gases. And it has been seen that within 24 to 36 hours after death, there is production of foul smell gases and it will first start in the hollow viscera, then in the solid viscera, and they will then be uh, extending towards the or pushing towards the underneath skin. In 24 to 48 hours, the gases collect in the hollow viscera and they cause its false rigidity they exert considerable pressure and the gases which are involved, they are hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, uh, phosphorated hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and methane. And then the pressure effect of these gases. When they accumulate, they increase in quantity and they exert tremendous pressure and due to this, because of accumulation and this pressure effect on the various tissue, it manifests certain changes. And what are the pressure effects? There will be development of features. In 36 to 48 hours, roughly, approximately, there will be development of features. Face will become swollen. Identification become a, bit, a little bit difficult. The tongue, lips, nose, eyelids, and cheeks, they become distended. And the face become bluish green mass. So the whole face is swollen in bluish green. Then the tongue may be pushed between the teeth. In the female breast, they are swollen. And the bulging of the lips, and the condition of the body may be confused with a violent death. So uh, we should distinguish because the put effective gas smell is coming and there are other features of the uh, put effection will be there. This is how the swollen face, protrusion of the tongue, lips being swollen. Then shifting of hypostasis because of the pressure effect of gases. As there is uh, putrefaction leads to liquefaction of the clotted blood hemolysis and pressure in the duodenal gas, it is post-mortem and the, it is the shifting in any direction. Because when the gases are abundant from the hollow viscera, they then exert pressure within the cavities and then this pressure is exerted outside and the hypostasis will shift. Then the distension on the development of the whole body in the next approximately two to three days. This is also because of the abundant accumulation and formation of the gases and it causes generalized swelling of the whole body. Besides the development of face and neck. When it occurs, the identification of the person become more difficult. Eyes are tightly closed or propped closed due to swelling of the eyelids. Cheeks are puffy, lips become thick, tongue is swollen and protruded. This is a picture showing, and this is a model showing the protrusion of the tongue and development. Then it leads to distension of the abdomen. And due to the pressure, gas, pressure effect of gases in stomach and intestine, 
the blood stained fluid and froth starts coming out of nose and mouth and this is because of the pressure effect pushing the contents of the gut to come out through the nose and the mouth stomach becomes uh, stomach contents comes out from the mouth then feces may come out from the rectum breast and scrotum they are ballooned out fetus if the lady is pregnant and uh, because of the pressure effect of the gases this fetus may be expelled out the hair and nail they can now easily be pulled out and be detached this is the swelling of the whole body whole body is in uh, balladment now about the fluid and the froth which is coming out of the mouth the abdominal gases which push the diaphragm up lungs heart and stomach are also pushed upwards and resulting in expulsion of the fluid and the froth from the mouth and nose and this is the foot effect of fluid coming out of the nostrils and the mouth now the condition of the genitalia is that the penis and scrotum they are swollen and female genitalia appears pendulous and pregnant ladies i already told you that fetus if it is present it is expelled out so the summary of this lecture is that we have started discussion on the stage 2 of the foot infection we have learned them and we have learned that the in stage 2 there is production of gases and because of the production of gases they put pressure and because of the pressure there are certain effects we have learned that these effects are the balladment of feature the shifting of the hypostasis the distension of the whole body and the emission of fluid from the mouth and the nose and there is pushing of the feces and the fetus if the lady is pregnant so thank you very much this is all about the uh, stage 2 of the put infection we'll continue the stage 3 in the next lecture take care allah hafiz assalam alaikum if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and my channel name is dr javed ikbal kokar Thank you very much.